Hey folks, Machine Repeat here. I don't know about you, but uh, I sure have been hearing a lot about virtual reality lately. And actually last month I was down in Austin, Texas at the John Deere Parts Expo. And first time ever, I got to try out virtual reality. You can see me looking dopey there with the goggles on. But uh, I was visiting with Abdul Kasim, a staff engineer in the fluids group with John Deere. And it was fascinating. They had this virtual reality set up. And what they were doing, they would walk you into a moving engine and show you how the oil works. And like I say, it was unbelievable to have those goggles on and feel as though you were stepping inside to a moving engine. Now, they first give you the goggles, and you can see the football field there. They, they, they had a little setup to try and get you used to it, <clears throat> give you the controller, and then you look in the goggles and you'd be uh, trying to pick up... Uh, like a little container of oil or a football, and then they'd have you throw it, throw the football, and I was terrible at it. Uh, I think I'd have uh, got beat if this was a competition. But uh, it was really fun and just kind of shocking how uh, just realistic it is. You hear people talk about it, but it's true, and uh, I had so much fun. And I did a video interview with Abdul, and then uh, also down there, of course, Covering the used market for 27 years, we know that the care you give to your uh, farm equipment, in particular tractors and combines and skid steers, the engines, is key in terms of resale value down the road. And I was able to also interview, uh, do a little video interview with John Miller, who's a global product line marketing manager in the oil lubricant division for Deere. Now on the oil side, just last month the American Petroleum Institute, API, came out with their new standards uh, for CK4 uh, diesel engine oil, and John kind of told us how Deere approached that and with their uh, John Deere Plus 52 oil, premium engine oil. So it was a fascinating day, and uh, let's go to those interviews now. Hey folks, Machine Repeat here. I'm with Abdul Kasim, staff engineer with John Deere here at the John Deere Parts Expo. And I gotta tell you, uh, Abdul, I've, I've never seen anything. You had me do this virtual reality uh, new tool you have. It is just fantastic. It is, it absolutely is. It's the new generation of uh, devices and tools we can uh, use very favorably to educate our dealers and our customers. Right. Well, folks, what they have here, uh, virtual reality, and um, Abdul walks you through uh, into the into an engine and we get yeah. to see how the John Deere oil the plus 52 is performing uh, how it's how it's working but yeah here we go right here and I just they had me try this out it was unbelievable Abdul can you can you get into the engine look at this folks this is what I just did you're walking right into the engine to see performance just incredible when you have the goggles on it uh, you're into the fuel filter it's just it's like nothing I've ever <laughs> experienced it was really fun yeah, Bill, what kind of reactions when people uh, do this for the first time what do they uh, well, must all, just be amazed. Like all uh, generations of people, uh, young and old, are equally fascinated by the power of this tool and the possibility, uh, almost endless, of what can be done with this. Right. And they are so pleasantly surprised that it's so easy to to get used to. Uh, even those people who are very reluctant and afraid of new technology right. are pleasantly surprised what the capability of this tool is. Yeah, the learning opportunities are just endless with this And thing. we have had lots of inquiries for using this as a teaching tool. I can imagine. I'm, I mean, I could see you had me walk into that engine and I could start to see possibilities. Uh, right, right. Whether right. it's the customer level or the dealers, uh, just fascinating. But, but thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to try. Our absolute pleasure. And let's uh, take me back into that engine one more time here, Abdul. There you go, folks. You were right. You walked right through the engine, seeing how that John Deere Plus 52 oil is getting the job done.
Hey folks, Machine Repeat here. I'm at the John Deere Expo. We got dealers from all over North America coming through. I've been privileged to be here and we're visiting right now with uh, John Miller, Global Product uh, Manager. And uh, John, uh, I was able to watch your uh, education, education session here and it was fascinating. Well, thanks, uh, Greg. You know, we've just in the last week, there's been some important changes that we're making our dealers aware of with the American Petroleum Institute. Um, a new standard has just been launched and, and some customers may not be aware of that. So there's a new uh, CK4 standard that replaces CJ4 for heavy duty diesel engine oil. Okay. Uh, as well as a brand new standard called FA4. Okay. And that's really designed for on-road mm. applications. But you know the good news for us and for our customers that are already using John Deere Plus 52, yep. our oil not only meets the next generation standard, it exceeds it. Hmm. So you know we the important message that we're sharing uh, with our dealers to share with customers here at Expo is that you know we've already have them covered. Hmm. And for customers that aren't using Plus 52, you know it's it's a it's really a, a great oil, a very premium oil. In fact, when we launched it in 2009, it exceeded the CJ4 standard at that time. And you know now we know okay. through some testing we've done that it also uh, exceeds this next this brand new standard CK4. Okay. So walk me through these standards again, uh, John. The CJ4 was that was back in 2009. Okay, and then two, that dates back to 2007 actually. Okay, and you guys came out with plus 52 in 2009. 2009, and at that time it exceeded the CJ4 standard that okay. was in place at that time. So CJ4 was the standard, and now December 1st, 2016, the new standard is CK. Yes. Four. Yes. Okay, and your plus 52 exceeds that. So wow, I mean that says something to your customers that the deer made a product back then without knowing the future standards, I would imagine. Yes, yeah. I mean, what, what does that mean to you? You know, it's it's really, we knew our oil was that good back then, but this is just a further testament of how good our oil is. And for us, it's really about protecting the machines. You know, right. I mean, since we manufacture our own engines for our use in our equipment, yep. the oil that is put into those engines is very important to us. And we right. want to provide the best customer experience and the best protection for our customers right. and their equipment. Now with these new regulations, the CK4 from API just taking effect, I mean, from a competitive standpoint, other oils out there on the market, are they having to scramble to reformulate to? From what we understand, um, we believe some of the competitors um, have had to reformulate. Mm. Um, you know, but we're, we're just finding that out because we're we'll be doing some you know testing just to understand sure. Sure. Uh, that as well. But um, that's what we understand, and really with the new standard of the FA4 coming on mm -hmm. the market. Um, from that standpoint, you know, we're really uh, advising customers and our dealers not to use the FA4 oils in our, in our off-road equipment because we are in very heavy duty, um, very harsh off-road conditions mm. as compared to, to trucks uh, sure. and on highway applications. Sure. And we know with the FA4 with the lower viscosity oils, you know, the FA4 emissions um, requirements designed really to help customers um, reduce emissions and mm. increase fuel economy. Okay. And we know with lower viscosity oils, when you put those in a heavy duty application, um, we know that the most important thing for our customers is durability mm. and uptime and longevity. Right. And we really want to make sure um, that they're using the right oil. So that's, we're not recommending FA4 okay. in our engines. Well, just for the customer to be able to kind of stay with a product they're familiar with, uh, going forward that uh, that's just kind of a cool story that you guys have with plus 50 yeah 52 yeah. here now I'm also interested John in terms of you know I, I, I hear here a deer and through the dealer network and obviously in, in the farming farming world I mean downtime is any way to avoid that but I know with deer a big push with connected support and even pushing that farther now with uh, I forget what they call it ex expert alerts yes Yes. So, so one example, and really when you think about how it relates to uh, just a simple example that customers may be thinking of or mm -hmm. a, an example to share would be even with a fuel filter, something as simple as that. Okay. You know, when you think about through uh, JD Link, equipment that is has JD Link enabled, Yep. Um, you know, the ability that if a sensor goes off where there's a, a fuel filter sensor that goes off, yep. you know, we found sometimes, unfortunately, customers, you know, you're in the midst of harvest, you're doing other tasks, Sometimes we ignore those signals. Sure, sure. So through connected support, our John Deere dealers have the ability to be proactive, and they can reach out to the customer and recommend you know, your fuel filter is plugged. Right. And you know, customers may not realize what the the, uh, the negative effects of prolonging uh, right. the changing of that fuel filter. 
So, um, you know, we've enabled our dealers to have the ability to then take some of that information and go to the customer and and recommend to say, you know, your fuel filter is plugged. Right. Um, can we bring you another fuel filter? Sure. And when, when they do that, are there other things that you need Absolutely. for your operation? So it's really enabling our dealers to be proactive with customers. Yeah, I love that approach. I think it's spot on these days. Um, and I would imagine the customers must appreciate that level of uh, partnership. Absolutely, absolutely. Mm. Well, I, I love your display here, John. Let's walk through, uh, we have some timelines here again on the, uh, in the world of oil, and I, I'm no sure. expert on it's yeah, been no, fun to learn. Um, it's neat, so you know, we've been in the engine oil business. We, we launched our first engine oil uh, in 1969 as John Deere okay. Torque Guard. You know, we still have that in our lineup today as mm. our uh, really a, a fluid that we recommend for um, older equipment, older? Sure. you know, so it meets that CJ4, the previous requirement. Right. But we know customers, um, while they don't, they see the benefit of plus 52 going all the way out to 500 hours, right. our torque guard can go to uh, 250 hours. So it's a sure. standard duty oil, you know, for customers that, if you've seen the 4960 track, the last production 4960 tractor that, right? here, uh, you know, for a per it's perfect for a customer that may own that tractor. Right. You know, certainly plus 52, we have a lot of customers that enjoy that, but if they don't necessarily uh, need to have the mm -hmm. extended drain interval, we have a solution for them. So okay. as we think about the timeline, Torque Guard was our first oil back okay. in 1969. Okay. And then uh, we launched Plus 50 uh, back in the 1980s. Okay. And as you kind of see through the different um, API regulations from CE to CG to CH4, um, and then we've launched along that time some of our own proprietary, some John Deere tests. Sure. And then um, into the 2000s and in, in 2000. Seven, the, the CJ4 requirement came out. We launched our Plus 52 in 2009. Okay. And at that time, we had our JDQ78X test, which is really the most severe off-road test because, again, our customers put our equipment through very harsh conditions. Right. And, you know, as compared to on-road, so we know that we want them to have the best protection for their engines in those right. really challenging conditions that, you know, they're putting our equipment through every day, you know, right. for harvest and tillage and all those different applications. Well, I love the forward focus uh, of, you know, what Deer has been doing here. And, uh, yeah, it's very exciting stuff, John. And that virtual reality tool, my goodness. Yeah, that's really, as you, as you met with Abdul, you know, that that is... Uh, you know, it's a concept for us and we're looking at how we can, you know, leverage that tool as technology right. is upon us. Technology is a big part of our business at Deere. Right. And we're always looking at ways we can get the message out to our dealers and to our customers. And, and that's, it's it's fun too. It's kind of neat right. where you could be inside an engine and you, you experience that well, as well. Well, again, to visual, you mentioned the common example before, maybe a plug filter or something. And I imagine you might be able to simulate the, those type of conditions. Absolutely. Just to show, because, you know, inside an engine, you don't, even when you see that sensor go off, right. the customer doesn't always understand what's that, what's happening in my engine. Exactly. Why did it go off? Right. So um, to be able to share, share some of that and, and educate customers and dealers on, you know, what's happening right. inside that engine. And again, dear, through the uh, connected support with the expert alerts, now being able to help customers, you know, proactively avoid these the downtime. And again, we were, you were saying before in this. When we talk oils, unfortunately, maybe a lot of times, it, it's kind of wait until the problem, the power loss. Yes. Unfortunately, so it's, yes. a, it's kind of an opportunity to change thinking there, I would yeah, imagine. Yeah, and that's why we really, we recommend, you know, we have our own line of all of the oils, coolants, grease, everything that we have uh, through our John Deere dealers. That's, you know, we, we, we provide the best products for them right. so that they don't have to worry about uptime or, you know, or downtime and having those, they can just be focused on the uptime and harvesting the crops and, right. and doing the tasks that they do on a daily basis. Right. Well, John, I love what you're doing here. And again, I, I never imagined I was gonna do virtual reality today, but super fun. And, and thanks for telling us about all the cool stuff you guys got going here with uh, John Deere on the oil side. Well, thank you, Greg. It's been a pleasure to have you here in our booth and uh, thank you very much.